Hey, what's going on my Glicky and Kalas? Welcome back to another video and today we're doing a tutorial on my YouTube render settings full screen flow on a Macintosh computer. So hopefully you enjoy and let's get into it. Alrighty guys, once you're on your desktop, all you want to do is you want to head over to ScreenFlow. Just click that little guy there and you want to head up over to your file. You want to go to export and here is where the settings will begin. Dun dun dun. So what you want to do first is you want to go over to your manage section here. You want to create a new preset which basically is a profile. So how do you do that you may be asking. So what you want to do is you want to go to web high here. You want to make a copy of that guy, you want to name it anything, so it could be YouTube 720HD like I have, it could be your redis, render settings, it could be anything like that, YouTube, anything. And once you want to do that, you just want to press OK, I'm not going to do it just for this purpose of the video. Uh, but once you have that done, you just want to go up to your preset, you want to click the profile you just created, which I'm going to click this guy here. Uh, but just click that profile you just created then, and you want to go to head over to your customize section. So you want to have your H.264 selected, you want to have your frame rate at 30 FPS, you could boost this up to 60, I'm pretty sure it would work, I haven't tried it myself, but I'm pretty sure it'd still stay smooth. So you want to actually change your data rate from 1200 to 3000 kilobits a second, you want to have your profile main, your ACC audio ticked, and you want to have your sample rate at 44.1, and you want to have your data rate at 256. So basically the only thing you're changing in here is your 1200 kilobits of data rate to 3000 and your final step and I know final step surprisingly it's this easy uh, what you want to do is you want to head over to your scale to custom size you want to change your width to 1280 by 720 and not 722, 720, uh, so 720p by 1280, so that's your resolution. Uh, so basically that there is going to scale your video to 720p and these settings here are going to help make your video smooth and all that sort of jazz. So once you want to do that, you can click export, you can export whatever video you are doing. I will give you a little tip though guys, once you're going ahead and rendering for the second time, third time, fourth time, all you want to do is you want to click that profile again. It will have all your data still saved as how it is. So for me, it's 1,200 kilobits a second, not 3,000. Just because I haven't exited out of the program, it saves your profile after you rate, like render one video it will save your profile so that's why it hasn't saved this but normally it would save all this data here and all you need to do every time you make a video is you want to 1280 it by 720 and click export and you're as simple as that so just one second extra you're going to spend writing this thing in here and you're basically done so hopefully you enjoyed this really easy tutorial i know it was really basic but a lot of you guys were asking me for my render settings a lot and a lot of you actually are uh, so i thought i'd make this little quick video ho hoping to help you guys and just basically that's it so hopefully you enjoyed leave a like if it helped you down below and i will see you guys in the next video peace would you be the preacher would you be my Still got a lot of shit to learn, I'll admit it.